Dankie jyre, ek loof jy daarvoor. Amen. Nou, uh, soos ek gesê het, today is the Holy Ghost. I'm focusing on the Holy Spirit. We just had Pentecost. And, um, ek hou te veel asem in die ding sien. And, uh, I want to start off with this text. Luke 17, 21, wat sê, En hulle sal nie sê, kyk hier of kyk daar nie, want die koninkryk van God is binnen in julle. Kijk, so twee weke terug, het ek geëindig met hierdie tekst. En gesê, Ons is, the agents, we are seated with Jesus in heaven. Do you remember that, those of you that were here? We are the agents, we are seated with Jesus in heavenly places. And thus we are the channel through which what is in heaven must come to earth. So that dit wat in die himmel is, so ook op aarde. Onthou jylle Matthies 6 vers 9 tot 13, die onse vader gebed. So is in die himmel, so ook op die aarde. Dis so dit is. The kingdom of heaven of God is within you. Daarom het ek nou nou seker met die righteousness ding begin, want ek het dit nie beplan he. Maar dit is wat het is. So ek wil graag vir jou iets wees vandag. En dit is ook om het nie een lang preek gaan wees nie, want ek wil rarig concentreer op. If you are not filled with the Holy Spirit yet, met ander woorde, die tweede vol. The second, the, the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Daar is soveel maniere wat hulle dit beskryf in die Bijbel, dat mense baie die mekaar raak. So, I honestly, humbly, I'm just relying on you, Holy Spirit, that what I explain today will, will be able to be understood. So, my eerste prankie, like so, and this, that's man, of woman. Man with a womb, woman, as a vrou, en uh, ons het a lichaam, dis hierdie, dis this tent, that's gonna go back to dust, or something else, and um, in it is us, klink a bykie strange om so daar aan te dink, maar, want dis net jy wat like soos jy like, so daar is net een so tent, maar binnen in die tent is jou gees wat God in jou geblaas het, wat jou leven gegeet, en jou siel, jou siels dimensie is jou kop, is jou denke, dis waar ons, dis ons dink en voel en uh, where we, where we get attacked by Satan, is there, in the mind, in the, in the soul dimension. That's where we attacked as Christians. Okay, if you're not a Christian, he can attack you any place. But if you're a Christian and you're under the blood of Jesus, he attacks you in the soul dimension. And he denke, that's why I begin, and then krap hy bykie daar, and then krap hy bykie daar, and then fluister hy bykie hier, and then gaan ons van die siels dimensie af, luister ons nie vir die geest nie, en dan doen die lichaam die verkeerde of die rechte. Ok, so, daar is een tekst wat ek vir jou wil lees, 1 Korintiërs 6, 19, wat sê, verstaan jullie nie dat jylle lichaam een tempel van die heilige geest is, wat in jullie woon, en dier God aan jullie gegees nie. Jylle behoort nie aan jullie self nie. So now the kingdom of God has come into you, die tempel van die heilige geest is, die selfde tent waar in jy woon. So, Ek wil net een mooie sin maak vir jou vandag. Hierdie tent is nie net vir jou nie. <laughs> Dit is een <a> lodge. <laughs> Unfortunately, it can be a lodge. Also for demons. But, if you've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, and you've repented of your sins, he says in 1 John 1, 9, sê hy, ek is getrouw en rechtverdig, ek sal al jou sondes vergeel, en ek sal jou reinig, again, 
Jy is gerechtigheid. Is you back in the right standing. En so wat ek wil sê nou mee is, in die volgende prentie, like ons tent as kinders van die Heere, dis hoe ons like. Ons het een beetje verder geword. <laughs> so, you still got your soul, your, your soul dimension, the mind. You still got the tent. But now you've got the Holy Spirit that you receive. Okay? He come woon in you. Therefore you, I just read to you, your lichaam is a temple from the Heilige Geest. It's a place where the Holy Spirit lives. Alright. So, hierdie tent het my geest en die Heilige Geest. Nou kom ek vir jou gauw ietsie vertel, as ek die volgende versie vir jou lees, Romans 8, 16, it says, The Spirit Himself testifies and confirms together with our Spirit, assuring us that we believers are children of God. Met ander woorde, hoe kan jy seker weet, jy, jy is een kind van die Heere? Want die Heilige Geest van God, wat saam met jou geest hier binnen in hierdie tent is, Testifies first hand. Nie is second hand news nie. First hand. Want hy is by jou geest binnen in jou huis. En hy sien, jy is rarig gekind van God. Jy het rarig jou hart vir die Heere gegeen. So he can testify first hand that you are a child of God. En dan as jy verder gaan lees, dan sê, Together we call out Abba, Father. And we can only do that if the Holy Spirit in us testifies with our spirit that we are children of God. Therefore, we both can scream out and say, Abba, you are Father. Okay, is nog, are you with me? Everybody still with me? Okay, because it's going to get a little bit more complicated. Just a little. Now, when you became a believer, die dag toe jy jou hartje vir die Heere gegeet, the Holy Spirit came and he made this his temple. Now is the vraag what gebeur? The Bible teaches us that when you have the Holy Spirit, listen carefully to which words I'm using, wanneer jy die Heilige Geest het, ontvang het, wanneer hy in jou kom woon het, toe jy tot bekering gekom het, when you came to know Christ, that's what's happening. The fruit of the Spirit will become evident in your life. This testimony that the Holy Spirit lives in you and you submit to it. Ok, ek wil hier ons in gauw terug gaan aan die vorige prentie toe aan is. If the Holy Spirit lives in me, but in my soul dimension, I don't submit to the Holy Spirit. Galatians 5, 22 and 23 will not be evident in my life. Selfs al het ek die Heilige Geest. Selfs al is ek op pad jimmel toe. I will not carry good fruit. Ek sal vrot vruchte dra. It's possible, unfortunately. It's possible to swear. It's possible to to um, sleep around even with the Holy Spirit in you. En as jy so daaran dink, as kam jy jou dood as jy sonder doen. <laughs> hy was daar, hy het gecheck, <laughs> en, so as ek, as my siel, nie submit onder heilige geest nie, dan gaan my geest, in my lichaam laat manifesteer, vrootvruchte, maar gelukkig is die anders om daar, vir ons, en dan wil ek aangaan, anders na die, prentie na die vers, wat so, daar is hy, Ok, so nou, ons sy nou al het lomp mense hier gehad het. Where's your body? You've got the Holy Spirit in you, you've got your spirit there, you've still got your soul dimension, 
And do you recognize those? It's in the text just before. Joy, peace, patience. Kenalini Joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Nege attributes. Groot woord. Wat is a makkelijker woord for attributes? Nege kante van die heilige gees. Dou dis nie vruchte nie. Jy dra die vrug van die heilige gees. Maar daar is hulle. Hulle is allemaal beskikbaar tot jou. To be a testimony. That you are righteous. If you have made the choice to live righteous. Not just receive righteousness and sit around. But to live and walk in righteousness. That would mean that in your mind... You are submitting to the Holy Spirit that's living next to your spirit in your tent. And your tent will be testifying that you are a Christian because love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control will be visible in your life. Salamate me. See, it's not rocket science. It's very easy stuff. We must just pack it out nicely and then you'll understand it. If you don't see peace in your life, if you don't experience peace in your life, it means there's something that you have not submitted to the Holy Spirit that you need to go and sort out so that peace can manifest in your life. As jy jou knorpot is, dan is daar iets wat jy moet gaan uitsorteer met die Heere, want daai dooring bly vir jou steek, en jy het nie daai vrede nie, totdat jy gaan repent en daai vrede kry, dat die vriendelijkheid kan uitkom en die knorpot kan wegraak. Later this year, the interns will do exactly this, where we concentrate for one week, on one of those dat jy vir die hele week lang moet kyk hoe is jou vriendelikheid hoe lyk hy vriendelikheid vrug van jou stink hy een bykie is hy bykie vrot of is hy daar, is het lekker helder die kamer op as jy daar inkom because you carry that it's in you remember what I started with the kingdom of God is in you and you are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Same thing, same tent. And they're living there. All right. Now will I get nog so, bit moeilijker maak. Die volgende vers. Uh, you can put the English there. I'll do the Afrikaans. 1 Corinthians 12. Oh, dit moet seker 7 tot 11 wees. Hè. Die is by my staan in 7 tot 1. Elkeen van ons ontvang een manifestatie van die gees om die gemeente te bevoordeel. In other words, we, everybody receives some sort of a manifestation of the Holy Spirit for the congregation, not for yourself. Hy sê, aan die een geer die gees die bekwaamheid van goddelijke wijsheid te verkondig, aan die ander een geer die gave van speciale kennis, Aan iemand anders gee hier die selfde gees een heel besonders geloof. Aan nog een gee hy die gave gaan van geneesing. Aan een volgende ene die vermoe om wonders te verrig. Aan een ander die gave van profesie. Aan nog een die vermoe om te onderscheid tussen geeste. Aan iemand anders die gave van praat en tale. Aan nog een die bekwaamheid om die tale uit te lee. Dit is een en die selfde gees wat al hierdie gaves bewerk, en wat aan elkeen uitdeel, soos hy dit goed vind. So, good question. Wat sy gave van die gees is die beste gave? Ek gaan julle nie toelaat om te antwoord nie, want het gaan verkeerd weer. <laughs> Behalwe as julle al die kursus gedoen het. Die beste gave van die heilige geest is die gave 
wat op daar oomlik in daar die situasie nodig is. En die Heilige Geest sal soos hy wil, daar ga wel laat manifesteer. The best gift of the Holy Spirit is the one that's needed right there, right then, in that situation, in that moment, and He will manifest that. That's the best gift of the Holy Spirit. Now what's interesting that I want you to see, next picture, as a belief on us. Kijk hoe vol word jou leefie nou. Ons raak al hoe dikker. You also carry all of these. If you are baptized in the Holy Spirit. You see now this is where the die mekaar spul comes. Want dan mense die mekaar raak en sê maar, ah, ek verstaan nie lekker nie. So when you became a Christian, the Holy Spirit came and lived in you. It lives inside of you and the fruit of the Spirit is visible in you if you submit to the Holy Spirit. But, to get the gifts of the Spirit, you need to be baptized in the Spirit. Dit beteken nie, ek moet jou gaan onderdompel nie. Dit beteken net, jy moet gewillig wees, beskikbaar wees, en soos ek altyd vir die jeug gesê het, ook die jeugbister was, you need to want it. That's basically all. The Bible teaches us, the Holy Spirit is for all who ask. That's all. Ja, pastoor, but, but, but for so many years I'm praying and I'm not getting my tongues. I don't know what's wrong with me. Nothing. It's just not his time yet. En dit is een belangrijke woordkie hier so, wat ons graag mis. Hy sê, aan elk een uitdeel, soos hy dit goed vind. <laughs> you see, you can submit to the Holy Spirit and you can dance and you can pray for people and people can fall down and you can have all these experiences with the Holy Spirit you can giggle like you drunk. But if the Holy Spirit doesn't rock up in Shekinah glory and feel there's a need that he needs to meet, nothing's going to happen. En dan raak mense moedeloos. En daarom vandag sy diens. Om vir jou te verduidelik, jy het klaar die vrug van die geest, want jy wat hier sit veroogend, het jou hart al vir die Heere gegee. You've already chosen to follow the Lord. Holy Spirit is already in you. Your fruit just depends on how much you decide to submit to the Holy Spirit. But there's a next step that the Lord wants us to have. He wants us to have the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And the evidence of that is that you will speak in tongues, said the Bible. The evidence of being baptized in the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to say it like that to make more sense. There's a living in and there's a baptized in the power. You create a toolbox. The toolbox is the onderste goede. A word van wijsheid, a word van kennis, discernment, spreken tale, interpretatie van tale, prophecy, miracles, faith, and the gift of healing. Kijk mooi, ons het die boonste lijn rondgeskyf. Want die gift, certain gifts of the Holy Spirit, tends to work with certain of the fruit. So, you will see that these, also, the prinkie come not mooi dear by jylle nie, but the, the first three are the gifts of revelation. That's where the prophet will, will tell you something he sees, it's wisdom. So it reveals something. 
The second one is knowledge. It's again, it's revelation. He receives knowledge from the Lord about what's going to happen and, and what you should do or not do. Um, and then discernment, whether there's evil spirits around or not. Which I am discerning right now at the moment. Um, dan die volgende drie, the next middle three, are inspiration. Tongues is the only one that's for you. You don't know what you're saying. Karabasanda, rabasete, rebende, robustame. But the, the Lord knows. And the Bible says, it's to edify you. It's om jou te stig. It's the enigste ene wat vir jou is. Die rest is vir die gemeente. To be used for the congregation. So that's tongues, um, interpretatie van tongues, and prophecy. And the last three is the gifts of power. That's miracles, faith, and healing. Okay. Does it make sense to everybody? Anybody that doesn't understand something about those pictures? Okay. Now, we're already there. The Avastan Lichaam body. That's where we, we, where we are. If you are already baptized in the Holy Spirit, you've got all of that. And I want to make this point very clearly that you've got a whole army with you, walking with you every day. Dink on hierdie prentjie morgen by die werk, wanneer jy a difficult situation moet face, dan sê jy maar, I've got all of you. Come guys, let's do this. Alles hier. For you to serve. En weet jy hoe makkelijk loop jy in gerechtigheid as al die tjomme vir jou help. It's a walk in the park. So I asked the band to prepare a certain song which was quite foreign to them. Het geef my eitje bykie weg. <laughs> maar ek wil vir allemaal vraag, I want to ask you, don't be shy now today. This is church. Nobody is going to think, oh, hell, I was al 30 jaar in hierdie kerk en hy is nog nooit gedoop in hele regeesie. Please, don't do that. Don't let the devil steal from you today. Don't let the devil steal from you today. If you, you know if you don't have tongues. When they start to play that song, I want you to walk on the water. Walking on the water means trust. This is what Peter has done. He has trust Jesus and he has the water geloof. Because if you're going to trust today, somebody else that's already baptized in the Holy Spirit is going to come and pray with you. That's all we're going to do. Ons gaan niemand sy naam met die plank slaan nie. We are church. We love one another. And I would like for all of you to have all of that every second of every day. Just because I also love you like Jesus do. And it's available. So I have to teach you about it. So moet nie skaam wees vandag nie. Please don't be shy. Please don't be scared. Betuie mense val nie om nie. Um, why does some people fall over when we pray for them? Just, just to clarify that. The supernatural touches the natural and something happens. And it's also different from person to person. Some people start laughing. Other people fall down. Some people start to hop like a little baliki up and off. I've seen all sorts of manifestations. It's when the supernatural comes in contact with the natural 
and then there's a reaction. But it's a godly reaction. And I don't know who of you, I see now and even though any Nadi had in Kakasanampi, she stood right here during Pentecost week. And Justin was busy praying there for somebody. And the next moment she slot near like a doe or snake is a doa. There will be for a bit. A cup had slot in the ground that was it can work. And she got up. And then have a headache or a broken skull because it was the Holy Spirit. So don't be afraid. The Lord says, where there is fear, His perfect love is not there. So don't be fearful today. If you want that whole army to walk with you every day, I'm inviting you. I'm not even going to come down there and touch you. I'm going to pray from here. So can you please sing? While, while they sing, come and walk on the water with me. I want you to come and walk on the water and stand here in the front. 